Hey, this. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you so much, Katie, for having me. Um, so, Katie, so I'm, I run a company, I've started a research firm called Learning Experience Design Research, LXD Research. And I started my, um, I was an intern actually, when I first started becoming a researcher. And um, Dora the Explorer, I got a chance to work on the first and second season. So I got to see firsthand how using research could both inform design and make sure that students' learning outcomes were being hit. And how many of you have heard of Dora the Explorer? <laughs> right, so it became a worldwide phenomenon because we were so intent on making sure that the design and the outcomes were being met. So Dora was an explorer. Katie's been talking about kids being detectives. And researchers are investigators. And through these investigations, we're looking to see are teachers using the right strategies at the right time to teach what they're trying to teach, and is it working? So it seems really straightforward, but research contexts are complicated, and learning experiences have a lot of context and are different kinds of dynamics. So it's really important that we, when we think about research, we understand that research is actually an umbrella term. It's not a dichotomous thing where does this have research or is this based on research or is this not based on research? There are all different kinds of settings and um, in ways that we investigate in different contexts that researchers kind of bring to the table. And you're all researchers too. You're looking to see what is working, which strategies are making your students hit the goals that they have. So we know that the Department of Education has provided some guidance to um, evaluate research and to help us all have kind of that same framework and looking at research studies, of which there are many studies um, and we're all trying to make sense of them. But I want you to know that there's maybe a secret out there that most studies are actually not eligible to be reviewed by the What Works Clearinghouse. In fact, over 99% of product research is not reviewed by experts. So I'm one of the folks that's coming in and stepping in and trying to help educators like yourselves understand like, what is this research and what is it saying. So we look at both the design and the impact of strategies and practices to see how it's helping you meet your goals with students. And what I want you to know about all these levels is that the levels are about the design of the study, not the impact of the study. In order to understand the impact of a study, we really have to delve a little deeper and check out those details on what happened, what was the beginning and after story of the research and that investigation, and that's in the research paper. And I want to let you know that, again, the design is not about the impact. Even the Evidence for ESSA website has studies, and you might see this Evidence for ESSA symbol on a product, for example, on their website, but they're actually might have proven, their investigation might have proven that they actually have no impact on student learning. So you see that zero? That zero means that this product proved it had zero impact on learning. So this is kind of like the secret, actually, that the just because you have a research study doesn't mean that the product actually helped children learn. What statistics tells us is, is it more than chance? Is it actually from that program, the strategies used in the program, that led to this impact? And that's when we have something, a number called an effect size. And an effect size helps us look across the studies to see, well, what is the magnitude of the effect of this research study. What did we find in this before and after, or comparing students who use the program to students who did not use the program? And I've looked at the strategies used by Katie, who she talked about it today, and what I want you to understand too is when you go out and talk to the exhibitors about different studies and different strategies and programs, is that it's not a one and done. Research is not a one and done experience, it has to be done over and over and over again for us to be able to see this. So we looked with a partner, I looked at, at the strategies that, that um, Katie mentioned, 28 different studies, and even though some might have only had one or uh, just a few classrooms, together it was an expansive investigation with over 800 students, over 30 teachers, multiple grade ranges, ranges and, and this context, it's, it's, you know, if I just heard one of these stories, I probably would have thought it wasn't true. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, this is an, an anomaly. There's no way this could be true. It happened for my students. 
But we heard that over and over again with all different assessments used, um, and that's why we gave um, recognition for ESSA Level 1 evidence for this program, now, for the strategies talked about uh, today. And what is the design? This design is really talking about who was in the study. So a Level 1 study looks at a group that used the program and didn't use the program, randomly assigned for strong and just maybe volunteered or assigned for moderate. Promising study may actually have no students that didn't use the program. It's really this before and after story, who used the program more versus who used the program not as much. And then a level four is just the idea that this program should work using academic research. So when you go out there, so I've heard from the exhibitors that the teachers are not asking them for the research studies. So I encourage you, ask them for the research. Say, what studies do you have? How many studies have you done? Where can I find them online? And if you get overwhelmed once you have those studies in hand, please check out our evidence checklist where we can kind of like walk through some of the basic qualities of the study so you can help evaluate these research papers that now almost all companies have. Thank you. I also have articles uh, for educators that can ho hopefully help kind of navigate this crazy time. Um, so thank you again so much for listening, and you can find us at www.lxdresearch.com for, for all these articles about research and how to evaluate research papers.